status of the province Salesian province of Annai Velangani Thiruchi The Salesian province of Annai Velangani Thiruchi was canonically erected on 5th August 1999 with the slogan Vilimbugal Mayamaga to bring those at the periphery to the center The province from its inception conformed to the focus of bringing those in the periphery to the center giving the preferential option for the poor the province has always taken various initiatives to address the new forms of poverty affecting the young people in the southern districts of tamil nadu the province is in the 23rd year of its birth marching towards its silver jubilee there is a steady growth with regard to the number of conferees institutions and non institutional initiatives There is a clear vision and mission and the province is continually striving to make its mission meaningful to the needs of the youth of Southern Tamil Nadu. The Salesian province of Tiruchi offers its pastoral services and youth services in 11 Catholic dioceses in Tamil Nadu and one Catholic diocese in Kerala. There are at present 27 canonically erected communities and four independent presences in the province. Types of ministries and mission formation houses 4 higher education institutes 3 academic institutions 25 technical institutes 3 parishes 12 yar sector centers 7 statistics of salesians there are at present 243 conferees in the province priests 151 salesian brothers 8 young salesians 84 novices at present 10 Statistics of the last six years. Inter-province collaboration. Mission Argentina still 2022 January. Jubilee celebrations. The province honored and celebrated the Jubilee conferees at their anniversary of religious profession and priestly ordination. The service, dedication and commitment of these conferees to the province is remarkable and praiseworthy. Entry of Salesian Lay Brothers Leaving from the province A proper discernment process is made when Salesians express their intentions of leaving the congregation. They are guided, counseled and accompanied in their discernment process. When the young Salesian leaves the province, the parents are called. A consent statement is made. obtained from the parents and then the candidate is handed over to the parents in good will this is the conference the province was saddened at the sudden and shocking demise of the following conference for the anthony joseph the fourth provincial due to his ill health for the tomai anthony rajan who got drowned at the sea for the kevo louis who passed away during his post covid time for the james theophilus the first provincial of the province due to cardiac issues and for the sahara jarul konnu who died due to covid-19 with gratitude we remember them and their services to the province may their souls rest in peace provincial commissions and departments the provincial delegates the youth ministry core team of the province significant events of the province the 7th provincial chapter of the province was held from 14th to 18th January 2019 on the theme what kind of solutions for the youth of today the celebration of this chapter had brought the province together to be more clearly focused in the mission for the young updating the solution profile and availing to the needs of the youth of our mission fields the youth chapter in view of the 7th provincial chapter the province organized a youth chapter first of its kind in the province history on 25th November 2018 at Don Bosco Manigandam this youth chapter was a fruitful and enriching experience that facilitated the solutions to get the mind of the young consultation for the fifth provincial the province has so far seen four provincials in the past the province was saddened at the sudden and unexpected demise of father anthony joseph fourth provincial of the province who died on 11th September 2019 the consultation for the fifth provincial was held in the province from 22nd November to 24th November 2019 conducted by father Vaslav Clement the then regional superior of East Asia Oceania 
Installation of the 5th Provincial was held in the province on 4th January 2020. Extraordinary Visitation For the Biju Michael, the Regional of South Asia carried out the extraordinary visitation of our province from 15th August 2021 to 24th November 2021. For the Felix Sarao, the Secretary of the Regional accompanied him during his visitation. SPCSA Meeting the SPCSA Council was held at Don Bosco Provincial House, Kallakuri, Tiruchi from 1st to 3rd September 2021. Salesian Provincials from India had arrived for the meeting. Reverend Father Biju Michael, the regional, was present for the meeting. 150th year Jubilee celebration for the foundation of the Past People's Association of Don Bosco was held on 18th September 2021 at Don Bosco, Tanjavur, the cradle of the Salesian India. Reverend Father Biju Michael, the Regional Superior of South Asia, was present as the chief guest of the celebration. Growth and Development of the Province Starting of New Presence At the invitation of Most Reverend Anthony Peter, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Sultan Pet, and after receiving approval from the Rector Major, Atikot Parish was taken over by the province from May 2020. The contract was signed for a period of 10 years. Canonical Erection of Communities As a step towards stabilizing the Salesian mission and fostering a full-fledged community living, the province has obtained the approval from the Rector Major to make Thereswaram Salesian community as canonically erected presence. Madurai Surya Nagar As a process of consolidation, expansion of mission and in view of canonical erection, the Salesian presence at Lutshine, Madurai was bifurcated and a new Salesian independent presence was started at Suryanagar, Madurai. Closing of Presence After the experience of three years in the parish of Kalkuruchi at Kurithuri Diocese, it was strongly felt that the province cannot carry out the Salesian mission due to the inconveniences caused by the administrative body of the parish. The contract was terminated on 22nd July 2021. Infrastructural facilities, repairs and maintenance, and developments of institutions. Some special initiatives and ministries of the province. Eco Field School at Sengipati. The available land at Sengipati is given a facelift with an open hall, two cottages, swimming pool and nursery garden along with variety of trees and plants, cattle farm and solar energy saver system. This farm is to facilitate eco-exposure for school and college students to know and get closer to the green environment, and to admire and appreciate its richness and to protect and promote the beauty of the Mother Earth. Silver Jubilee Initiatives The three years preparation for the Silver Jubilee of our province was inaugurated on 24th November 2021 at the conclusion of the extraordinary visitation of our province. The Silver Jubilee Committee presented a logo which was unveiled by the regional during the occasion. Organization and Animation of the Province Provincial Council the Provincial Council is made up of the Provincial, the Vice Provincial, the Economer and five perpetually professed members. The Provincial Council meets regularly once a month to evaluate the activities and plan for the future growth of the province. The Council meetings are held in various houses to know more about the life and mission of the community and to listen to the suggestions. The Rectors and Leaders the rectors and leaders of our communities are animated on a regular basis. The leaders gather three times in a year for two consecutive days for animation, evaluation and planning. The leaders of all the communities gather in the month of January every year for the dissemination of the Rector Major's Srenna. Every other year, the leaders have their annual retreat in the month of July. The new rectors are sent for the course on Salesian Rector conducted at DBRC Bangalore. The Youth Ministry team is made up of the Youth Ministry Delegate, who is the Vice Provincial, and the heads of four dimensions namely Education to Faith, Education and Culture, Social Experience and Vocation Guidance. The Youth Ministry team gathers three times a year to plan, animate and evaluate its activities. 
there are seven commissions there are seven departments there are five committees in the province the departments and sectors have well formulated policies to guide them all the commissions and departments concentrate on standardization of its activities to the young provincial delegates and solution in charge the development office of the province kaveri kaveri is the development office of the salation province of tiruchi it identifies the essential needs of the different houses of our province and proposes big and small projects to various agencies and donors the executive director of kaveri together with his team of staff takes care of the implementation of the projects and submitting the reports to the funding agencies during the time of lockdown due to covid-19 people especially the poor and the marginalized have lost their livelihood the province has reached out to people of these categories namely stranded migrants tribal people homemates health sanitary workers daily wage workers released bonded laborers abandoned elders visually impaired people providing them groceries food packets medicines and health sanitary materials more than 20000 families are benefited through these relief works mission procure office foreign propaganda nearly 1150 benefactors are contacted every year appeal is made to them for christmas easter and all souls day local propaganda the local propaganda is organized in two banners don bosco share to care for social reach out programs and don bosco mission for raising fund for the salations who are in formation house visits are made in parishes and other places for regular sponsorships we also raise funds through various resource mobilization programs like share to care events in schools and parishes animation of salations in the province the province has a series of regular animation organized at different times of the year these animations help the confreres to come together for animation express their opinions and suggestions and to experience moments of togetherness initial formation the province has an apostolic school don bosco tanjavur and a center for the post higher secondary candidates at don bosco network it is from these houses candidates are prepared and sent to the pre novitiate every year approximately 15 to 20 candidates are prepared and sent to the pre novitiate there is a pre novitiate in dindigal that caters to the formation of students from tiruchi and chennai provinces the formation plan of the pre novitiate has already been revised as per the revision brought about in the ratio the province has a house the retreat air card for post novitiate formation the college has opened itself giving admission to the students from other congregations seven students from shoe and start congregation are doing their studies this year there are three students for the diocese of den bosch admitted for formation and philosophical studies this year the young salesians are regularly animated guided and followed at the province and local level constant follow up is done with regard to the personal plan of life and the regularity of rendi kondo and spiritual direction of the young salesians ongoing formation ongoing formation is a process that takes place primarily in daily life and in the community experience in the very realization of the mission the animations organized in the provinces are batch wise meetings once in 2 years the leaders of communities are given animation thrice a year the Salesian brothers of both Tiruchi and Chennai provinces have two days of animation every year. Every year, the Quinquennium group of priests and Salesian brothers meet together for two or three days. The Silver Jubilarians either attend the Missiology course in Shillong or courses organized in DBRC Bengaluru towards promoting vocations to Salesian brotherhood. Following the directives and insistence of the Rector Major and the General Council for Formation, on promoting vocation to the two forms of Salesian life, to Salesian Brotherhood in a great way, the province in the past two years made efforts to promote vocations to Salesian Brotherhood. Vocation Promotion The whole process of vocation promotion has been followed up by the provincial, vice-provincial and their team. Separate vocation promoter is appointed in order to facilitate the vocation promotion process. In the Salesian settings, 
the rectors with the help of other members of the community identify and follow those who show signs of vocation the vice provincial and his team are involved in the selection process academic sector the academic commission in the province through its educational interventions aims at the integral development of the students following the guidelines and directives of the province policy for academic institutions positive factors of our school ministry in the province quality educational service is rendered to the rural and urban poor students indirect evangelization is imparted through our education holistic formation of the students is ensured former students of our schools are followed up through past pupils unit love for environment is nurtured value based education is offered higher education the province has three higher educational institutions an arts and science college in kilayural a polytechnic college each in kariyapanulur and putankuli the commission has come out with a policy which has been approved in the last provincial chapter 2019 the higher education institutions of the province strive to make higher education qualitative inclusive cost effective and accessible to the rural masses yar sector The YAR Commission of the province reaches out to those children and young people who are at risk, in danger, in need of protection and special care. The YAR centers extend its service to the marginalized children, especially rag pickers, street and working children. It also works and collaborates with the government and other agencies. Parish Commission. The province is interested with the 12 parishes in the southern and western parts of Tamil Nadu. The parish commission has its regular meetings and animations. All the activities are done in collaboration with the different departments and sectors who give their helping hand for the animation. The commission gets the help of the Christodium Catechetical Department and other departments for the animations. Rural sector. Most of the Salesian presence are located in rural areas, particularly in southern districts of Tamil Nadu. The Rural Commission concentrates on the empowerment of the marginalized section of the society especially those who are in the rural settings. Don Bosco Youth Village Kiranur was newly attached to the commission since 2020. Some of the services rendered are self-help groups, tailoring, garments, computer and typing institute, evening study centers, eco clubs, children parliament, people's bank etc. Technical Commission The Technical Commission of the province aims at imparting technical training to the poor and rural youth for their sustainable livelihood thereby improving the economic standards of the poor rural people while imparting technical education it ensures that the young people are empowered with life coping skills for their integral development it also aims at making young people become agents of social transformation Christo the young evangelizing the young is a first fundamental goal of the salvation mission keeping this in mind the department is reaching out to many young people and their parents the department also offers services to the province in the animation of the liturgy during various celebrations and events db cares counseling services the department offers counseling services to young people who are vulnerable emotionally weak fragile aggressive and easily prone to mood swings Number of confreres are qualified and prepared in the province to carry out the counseling services in the province. The department offers various services to formation houses, educational institutions, higher educational institutions, parishes, technical schools and yard sector institutions. The Department of Salvation Ministry for Alcoholics and their families, DV Jananam, with its vision ensuring alcohol free joyful disciplined purposeful and spiritually conscious life to the young creates awareness among children and youth providing counseling and treatment to the addicted young and the adults department for career guidance the department for career guidance and job placement don bosco varigati has made several remarkable interventions to create awareness among the marginalized youth on career options to impart necessary skills in view of placing them in suitable jobs and making them independent citizens even during the pandemic time the department was able to have online animations was able to carry out job placement drive and on-site interviews db media 
social communication. Don Bosco Media, the province animation and communication center is catering to the needs of the province in the areas of communication, animation and catechetics with the modern communication tools and techniques available. It produces various audio visual programs and runs a few YouTube channels from the banner of Alaykal Media. The department was awarded with the best lyricist award at Don Bosco Global Youth Film Festival this year. Ilamai Youth Department. The Department for Youth Services, Ilamai, with its vision, has reached out to the non institutional youth and coordinated the youth services of the communities in the province. There are 917 young people from 36 youth groups who have registered under Ilamai. Systematic programs are planned and carried out for the self formation of the young and transformation of the society with the young. It is a joy to report that our young people and volunteers have joined hands in the COVID relief work services in reaching out to the most deserving, neglected, and the aged people of the society. Services to the migrant youth. To create a healthy environment to migrant youth, the province has launched a comprehensive ministry for migrant youth under the banner titled Payanam. There are seven members in the department, including a lay partner. There are two migrant desks in the province at present, one in Tirupur and another in Coimbatore. The members of the department with the trained staff visit the families of migrants and the companies where they work to create awareness for a rightful living. The team ensures that the target group receive a decent pay scale for their work, are given basic facilities and feel secure and safe in their working and living places. Salesian family. In the past three years, attempts have been made to strengthen the existing groups of the Salesian family. Special efforts were made to animate the different groups of the Salesian family in order to strengthen the family bond among the members. All the branches of the Salesian family collaborate in the youth ministry of the province. Every year, the strenna of the Rector Major is presented to the members of the Salesian family by the respective individual communities. Salation family live in and the consult is an annual feature that is conducted more meaningfully in the province with due animation and preparation. Legal Cell Finance and Administration All the financial management of the province is carefully planned and executed by the provincial economer with the direction of the provincial. He coordinates the economy of the individual houses. In agreement with the provincial and his council. Various efforts are taken towards the efficient functioning of the management of finance, digital techniques used in the management of documents, and proper systems are in place towards promoting accountability and transparency. Sources of foreign funds, general propaganda, regular donors, and project donors, contributions from the houses. Local resource mobilization, Don Bosco Share to Care, major regular expenses and contributions. Total annual income and expenditure of Tiruchi Don Bosco Society, province common fund for the last five years. Present situation of communities houses that are self sufficient, 10, houses that are solely or partly dependent on project funds, 7. Houses that are solely or partly dependent on the province support, 